Inside F2 are back with Carlin and today we're looking at telemetry data of how Formula 2 drivers maximise their performance throughout a race weekend. They'll get a trace from their engineering teams which looks a lot like this and the dominant line for the drivers is the one in red. That's the one which takes the two front wheels into account and delivers a wheel speed, their speed through each of the corners on the layout, obviously further down being a lower speed, up towards the top of the screen being a higher speed. Generally drivers would overlay that wheel speed data with that of their teammate to see who is taking the greatest speed around which areas of the circuit. When you've isolated the area you're faster or slower than your teammate whose data you have available being across the garage from you, you can then take a look at the other parameters. The white line is the braking trace. That shows the brakes as they jump up towards the top of the screen, the nice sharp peak denoting a single seater style of using the maximum downforce to stop the car early in the braking phase and then bleeding away towards less pressure later on in the braking phase as the downforce helps you less. They can compare how they've applied the throttle, how hard and when with the throttle trace which is in yellow at the bottom of the screen or indeed which gear they're in through each of the corners in this white trace at the top of the screen in comparison to their rev trace in purple also here towards the top. Almost every input the driver puts into the car can be analysed by the engineering team but this is very much base camp to analyse their driving performance. They will seek to ask their engineers for more detail and more data to try to understand exactly what's going on turn by turn to maximise their performance through the lap.